Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm still so happy that we're back. See Mr. Cole here. We're currently on our morning walk in my new Go Outdoors jacket which was featured in last week's haul. Darren is literally so sick fed up of me gushing about how great this jacket is. It has all the pockets, <laughs> concealed hood, fully waterproof. I literally could not stop going on about it. Can you see Cole running in the back? What did he do? Oh, he's right at my feet. Anyway, we're on our morning walk to go to a little coffee shop, get some coffee before we start our day. You can definitely feel the drop in the temperature. Definitely approaching autumn, winter for sure, which makes me so, so, so happy for all the cosy knitwear. Um, so it's Monday, over the weekend, we had some really great news about the house. We finally got our move-in date, which we've been dying on getting for literally weeks and months. So we finally got that. So that'll all be happening at the end of October, which is in a few weeks, which is so exciting. So we really need to get cracking with packing up the house. Um, the house build is coming along really great. Everything is pretty much finished. So I'm thinking this week we'll take a little trip along and I can show you guys the update on how it's all looking. Are you happy to be on your walk? Go get Darren. Go get him. <laughs> You're fast, you ones. Go, cool, come on. Come on. <laughs> happy dog. I'm getting his morning coffee. <laughs> Next stop, pets at home. What are we going to get, Cole? <laughs> We're ready to party! <laughs> oh, so cute. Did anyone else just come to pets at home and come home with like four hamsters all at one time and your mum would go crazy? Yes, <laughs> sir. We're getting a new lead. That's quite a good one. LED? It's got a light and a poo bag holder on. Oh, that is quite good actually. 11 quid. That is good, but would he be strong enough because that's quite small? Yeah, that's Good morning. If I look a little bit um, dishevelled, it's because I'm off to the hairdressers today. Um, I wanted to quickly show you my outfit before I leave. I've got my H&M blazer on from last week's haul and I've cinched it in with my little um, brown belt. And I've just popped on the same leggings from H&M and I kept the, kept the Zara boots. I was playing around with them again this morning and I ended up taking back the H&M ones, well decided to take back the H&M ones. These just feel better quality, they fit a little bit better, they're cinching a little bit more around the ankle so, so they're a little bit more flattering on the leg. So yeah, I decided to keep these ones even though they were more expensive but I think they'll also be a little bit more durable. So as I say we're off to the hairdressers, I'm thinking besides getting rid of can you see them? The grey roots. I'm thinking of maybe going a little bit lighter just to try and compensate for when the grey roots come in. It's not as harsh against the dark. So we'll see what Tegan says. But it's a miserable, miserable rainy day. So first off is to get a cup of coffee because it's nice and early and see when I'm glad. <laughs> Well, we are back from the hairdressers. Oh, traffic. <laughs> we're back from the hairdressers with our new do. I did get some lighter bits put in, which you'll probably be able to see in the camera here. We are basically going to start gradually going a little bit lighter to kind of compensate for the greys so it's less harsh when they come in, but also for the wedding so I'm gonna be having my hair up um, and there's nothing worse than when your hair is all one tone and you just have like a big brown ball on the back of your head so I thought light bits coming through when it's up in a bun would just look really lovely so yeah we're starting to do that now so it's really nice having the lighter bits kind of creeping up so we're gradually going to start getting more and more and see how it goes and um, so yeah that was this morning I'm very happy with how it turned out and it's always lovely to go into the gloss house and just chat away for a couple of hours with the girls. It's such a lovely salon. 
Um, so yeah, that is that. I have a busy day ahead. I have a lot of returns to do, like add many bits, some wedding designs to do, things like that. But first of all, I wanted to show you the purchase that I made when I went to the wedding event a few weeks ago. It arrived this week and it is the perfect season for this bag. So it's from Charlotte Mills. It comes in this gorgeous little packaging and it's just a clutch which is a great clutch to have in your wardrobe. It's neutral coloured but glam enough that if you have an event, Christmas, party season is fast approaching, it's just perfect. So let me show you. So I got the extra strap but I'll show you the bag first. So this is the bag. It is all pearls, both sides. It is silver hardware and buckle so bear that in mind if you're more of a gold gal. Um, it is just the perfect size to hold in your hand. It fits, this is my phone here, fits the phone perfectly once it's in. You just open it by pulling that little clasp and there we have it. I'll put my phone in for size reference. So that's my phone in there with plenty room for other bits of lipstick, keys, card, that sort of thing. So this bag comes with the kind of standard silver chain. This is long so this would go over your shoulder and the bag would sit about your hip. I'm not really into that sort of style. I feel that it makes it seem a little bit kind of old-fashioned, a little bit not granny-ish but I don't know, it's just not my vibe. So, I wasn't going to buy this bag until they told me that you can take these clasps off and they have an additional handheld strap. Let me show you. And it is just a pedal short strap with little clips. So you just attach this to the bag, like so. And there we have the perfect clutch handbag super perfect I just I'm so obsessed with it obviously you can just take the clasp the um, handle off completely and just hold it in your hand but I find if you're going to something formal enough to have a bag a bag like this then there's more than likely going to be a stand around drink reception and I've just found it a bit sugarly kind of trying to hold this putting it under your arm so the strap is just perfect you can pop it on your wrist hold your glass of champagne and still have a free hand to mingle shake hands check your phone take pictures do what you need to do so this this bag is just the perfect party season bag i cannot rave about it enough so i feel i got a discount when i purchased this but let me quickly check how much it actually is so it's from a brand called Charlotte Mills, as I mentioned. They basically specialise, I believe, in wedding shoes. So they have a whole range of shoes which... Oh yeah, which um, have matching pearls on, which are perfect for if you're... Um, if you're like a shoe bag matchy person, which I am, but I feel like because it's neutral and white, you can get away with wearing and either nude heel, black heel, white heel, and it'll go perfectly. So this bag retails for £165. The strap is an additional £10. But this strap you could probably attach to any other clutch as long as it had the hooks on the inside. I believe if you sign up to the website you get 15% off, so you get a discount on this. Um, I have just seen that all of our bonus have a really nice pearl clutch as well which was only £55 so that's a good cheaper alternative but a clutch like this it's an investment you it's not dated it's not trend um it's not run by trends so you can buy this and have it in your wardrobe and pull it out whenever you have a formal event or not a formal event if you're bougie like me <laughs> so it's the next day and I am ready as you can see because I don't think I've mentioned this yet but today I am going to our wedding venue. I am taking my mum and my grandma. Sadly, my dad actually has got COVID, so he can't come. But yeah, we're going to go along and they're going to see the venue for the first time. It's an open evening, so they, they have all dressed, they have all the lights up, they have the canopies and the champagne and all that good stuff. So we're just going to go along and have a nice little girly day, I suppose. So I have my 
little Zara jacket on. Um, I actually have packed a lot of my stuff, so I've had to go with the black accessories, which I'm not too happy about, but it does the job. Um, also, I feel like this camera is really, really zoomed in, but it's not. It is as far out as it can go, so I'll need to figure out how to change that because my arm is literally stretched as far as it can go, but I'm still really close up, so I hmm, need to look into that. Anyway, of course you're coming along with us to the Mansfield Traquair, so let's go check out the most beautiful wedding venue, in my opinion, in the whole of Scotland. <laughs> Welcome to the vlogs, Mum. Hi, everybody. Are you excited to I see the most? I think we should practice walking down the aisle. Oh, yeah, that. we are. We have to time, so I know. Yeah. We I'll need to time. Yeah. Yeah. One, two. So we know what music to have. Yeah. Don't yeah. go with drama because she'll be forever. Crap, we need five songs <laughs> to get drama time. Cheers. Cheers. Mum, right, take your seat for on the day. Mum, how will you be on the day? Drunk. <laughs> well, I'll definitely have to like get something on my eyes because they'll just be all out like this. So I'll need something. I'll just need to think of something. Something sad. I never thought I would walk in here and start crying. Never in my life. <laughs> Grandma taking her seat where she'll be on the day at the top table. So these will be the big red doors that will open on my arrival. Big double red doors. Gorgeous. So we're here. We're in. We all cried. There's Grandma. So cute. We all cried as soon as we came in. It's so overwhelming. It's so beautiful. Grandma. Grandma, do you love the venue? Well, can't speak about it, it's just... Not got words. <laughs> <laughs> too emotional. <laughs> it's, too far, emotional. it's far too emotional. We've got our too champers, emotional. we've had some canopies, and we're going to test run the walk down the aisle. Of it on a girl. degrees it's bloody chilly anyway it's the day after the wedding show it was so magical going back again I think the first time that we went was obviously the first time that I'd seen the venue and we booked it and it was all a bit like overwhelming and I didn't really take in everything as much as I probably should have so going back again knowing that it is my venue and I will be walking down that aisle and everything was just so, so lovely and obviously took my grandma and my mum. My mum has said she's not a crier, like a, she's not a happy crier, um, she, doesn't, she didn't think that she would cry like when I, when I do get married but as soon as we stepped foot in the Mansfield she was bawling her eyes out like we were just walking with a little champagne and she i just heard her say because she was behind me someone needs to punch me in the face <laughs> and i turned around and she was just sobbing grandma was sobbing i obviously got emotional before i even was in the door <laughs> but yeah it was just so so lovely and just to like 
show my grandma and my mum was just really special and talk them through like where we'll be on the day and how they like change it from ceremony to drinks reception to night time um, just makes the day seem a little bit easier and sh less stressed knowing that everyone knows where they'll be seated and where they go and where the toilets are and all that just sort of stuff um, so yeah it was lovely and the woman actually remembered me from the first time I went she remembered that I was the crier I don't know why no one else cries when they go in there because it's so overwhelming and gorgeous it's hard not to cry um, so yeah she remembered that we were that I was the crier and I got to meet the girl was her name Claire I think she's called Claire um, yeah, who I'll be working with, who will be putting together my day and will be there on the day to help and help set up and make sure everything, my vision comes to life. So I got to meet her, which was really lovely. Um, and then we just had a nice little few drinks after in the Broughton Bar, which is literally just opposite the venue. And it is such a lovely little bar. The staff are super, super friendly. Um, I've been in there before and they're just really lovely people checking in on you, make sure you're okay, chatting to you. They're just really lovely. So I highly recommend that little bar. Anyway, that is all for this week's vlog. I hope you have enjoyed and next week we will be, I think, getting into our house. I'm not sure, maybe. Fingers crossed. So I'll keep you all updated on that situation. But for now, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.